you know, I have a relative, uh, a male relative, and this is directed to you men. I have a male relative who is a total gentleman. I mean, the man buys flowers, opens doors, I mean, carries, he's just the sweetest guy. And I remember I was trying to hook him up with one of my girlfriends. And you know what she told me? Well, you know, I really like him and everything, but he's just too nice. Well, what do you want, somebody to slap you upside your head? Yeah, well, anyway, he was casting his pearls before swine. And thank goodness she cut him loose when she did, before his heart got broken. But he found someone who valued what he had to give, what he had to offer. This wasn't being done because he was being polite. This guy did it for his mother, for his sisters, for his relatives. He was just, it was just in him. He was chivalrous to the bone and as sweet as pie. And he finally met a lady who appreciated that kind of treatment. And after one week, he proposed to her. And after one week, again, they got married. And they've been married and are still married to this day, over 40 some years of marriage. Why? Because she appreciated. Listen, men, don't cast your pearls before swine. Don't decide, Okay, well, I really like her. She doesn't want me to treat her like a lady, so I won't open the door for her because it'll get her upset. Don't be a pleaser. That's not the kind of woman you want to please. Trust me on that. She will end up dogging you out the way she would rather you dogged her because that's her, her uh, measure of manhood is a man that mistreats a woman. She likes the bad boy thing. You be the man you are. You be the gentleman you are and remain that way because there is a woman out there that's a true lady. Mm -hmm. And your love will be reciprocated the way you dish it out. Don't waste your emotions or your time trying to please a fool. I don't care how pretty she is. All right. Mother has spoken.